Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. Just hit that big red subscribe button. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make really fun infusible ink coasters. And I did these using the infusible ink pens. I've done three of them as just plain black and white style. And then I did one so that we could see all the different colors in the pen set that we received. This was really fun to do and it was really fun to color. This is a great craft that you guys can do as a family or if you're really into coloring. I'm going to show you guys how to set this up, get this all drawn out and colored in, and then how you guys press the infusible ink onto the coasters. So let's get started. We're going to use a design space design for this because I basically just want to show you guys how to use your infusible ink pens and the coasters to make a design. So what we'll do is we're gonna go into our projects and I'm just going to search for coaster because that is where they brought up all of our infusible ink coasters. Now there's a bunch of different styles that you can do. You can do some with the pens, you can do some with the different infusible ink sheets. It's just up to you and the design that you wanna do. They have some for squares and some for the circular ones, which is really, really fun. So you have a lot of different options. And some of these coasters are um, for like vinyl or for the debossing tool right here. You can see this leather debossing one. So we'll just scroll, see if we see anything that we want to make. I love these, these are really pretty, but I don't have the right paper for that. So. There was one with these really pretty flowers right here that we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna do these floral ones. Now it tells you everything that you need here. So you'll need laser copy paper, a light grip mat, an easy press, the mat, infusible ink coaster blanks, infusible ink pens, alcohol wipes, protective cardstock, butcher paper, white cardstock scissors. It sounds like a lot. I promise this is not as crazy as this sounds. It's actually really, really easy to do. So what we're gonna do is click customize and I'm gonna show you what it looks like in your design space. So this right here is your each coaster. So you have the design, which is the black marker, and then the circle, which it's going to cut out so that you can press it on to your coaster. We'll go ahead and click make it and it's automatically going to put it on a 12 by 12 page. I actually want to do this on eight and a half by 11 paper. And the other thing I'm gonna tell you is to make sure that you allow for some room around each of your designs. So just click it and move one of your designs off to the side or off to the bottom and just move them around so there's a little bit of space around all of them. I do this more for my own sanity, but also I find it to be a little bit easier when it goes to cut that it's not gonna smudge anything. I've had it smudge a few times here and there doing some other projects, especially with like their gel pens. So I just like to move them around just to give myself a little bit more space around all of them. You don't have to do this, this is just my step. So now we're going to go ahead and click continue and it's going to connect with our machine, in this case, the maker. You can do this on an explore as well. And because we're using copy paper, we're going to select copy paper. And it's going to tell us that we need to load our midnight pen into the clamp A and our fine point bl pen in, or blade into clamp B. I am actually using infusible ink markers and I'm just going to use the black. And then we will color in some of the flowers so I can show you guys how you can kind of make them your own and a little more interesting rather than just plain black and white. So let's go over to the maker and I'll show you guys it writing out and cutting our design. The first thing that we need to do is load our pen into our uh, A clamp. So this is a Cricut infusible ink pen. It says infusible ink right on it. I always put the cap on the end of my pen. And for this project, you'll wanna use a fine point pen. Push it in until it clicks. So you're gonna hold the bottom with one finger and just press the pen in with the other and then close your clamp. I've loaded some copy paper on to our light grip mat. We're gonna go ahead and load that. And we will go ahead and click the go button as soon as that's ready. It is going to write it out and then cut it out.
coasters we're going to use. These are compatible with infusible ink. You can use sublimation coasters or sublimation blanks as long as they have the sublimation coating, which is basically just a polyester coating. But with these are the ones we're going to use. There's a set of four. They're fairly heavy. So we're going to get them out of the package. I am going to set my heat press because we're going to use our heat press to press these. I wanted to show you there's two sides to your coasters. So you're going to have a white side that's really shiny and then this tan side that is dull and it feels kind of rough. This is not the side you press on. You want to press onto the white side, but I wanted to make sure you guys saw that. So what we're going to use is some heat tape, and this is just I bought from Amazon. You can get this at most craft stores will sell it, things like that. So what we're going to do is take some heat tape, and I'm going to put it on the back of one of my designs, and I'm going to use the colored one really quick. Um, I colored, just so you guys know, I did color with one of every of the colors that came in the package. That way you guys could get a good look at what it looks like. So we'll set this on top of our coaster, and what we're going to do is take our heat tape, and I'm not actually placing it quite yet. I'm going to cut a few pieces of heat tape and stick them to the back really quick. The heat tape does not like to rip, so have a pair of scissors handy to help you with your heat tape. So what I'm going to do, and we're using this so that it doesn't slip around on our design. So what we're going to do is kind of iron, figure out where your butt center is on that. And you are going to take your heat tape and I'm going to roll it around so that it goes all the way to the other side of my blank. And you're just going to want to make sure you've got it lined up really, really nice and just hold it down like that. And you're going to want to do that for each of your designs and you're going to want to make sure that you get them as centered as possible. I did not color the other ones because coloring took forever too and I am not really a color person. I don't, I don't, I'm not good at it. I don't enjoy doing it but I wanted to make sure you got one so you guys could see all the colors. So again I'm going to do the same thing with the non-colored one. We're just going to flip it upside down. I just find it easier to put the tape on it first and then flip it and line it up rather than trying to line it up and then put tape on it. I find it slides a lot because these are really, really slippery. So we will go ahead and pop that. And then this tape is relatively sticky. It does stick pretty well to these. So again, you're just going to line it up best you can and take your tape and get it on there and then take your other piece. And you can add additional tape if you would like to. If you want to put some tape on the edges over here, you can absolutely do that. Let me get the last two taped up and then we can press these. One thing I forgot to mention is I did wipe my coasters off with a uh, lint-free rag just to make sure that there's no lint on them. I didn't film that part. So when you make these, normally you would think that you'd put them face up, but these coasters need to be put face down. You need to set your press for 400 degrees for four minutes, so that's 240 seconds. Um, I make no promises, and if this doesn't come out, I'm still going to turn this into a tutorial because I'm going to show you all the things that maybe went wrong. But let's see if this actually works. So be very, very careful. Obviously, your press is going to be really hot. I have this turned down to almost zero um, pressure because you really don't need the pressure for this. It's more the heat for the ceramic coasters, apparently. This is the first time I've done them. So we're going to go ahead and put our heat press down. And it actually is going to give us a little bit of pressure because they are a little bit thick. I have a pressing pillow under them as well just to sort of help them um, stay up. They do recommend having a pillow under them. Again, it doesn't really take any pressure. They just say to set your easy press on top. But I don't have an easy press. I don't want an easy press. So I'm going to let this thing go. I won't make you sit here and watch. And then when it's done, I'll show you it all finished. We're ready to open our press. We're going to go ahead and open that. And... We don't want to touch this at all. You don't want to touch it. You don't want to do anything to it. You want to let it sit and cool. I'm going to turn my press off and I'm going to point out, and I don't know how well you guys will see this, but if you look, you can see the butcher paper is discolored in certain spots. I can actually take this part off because it is not super hot. The butcher paper really doesn't hold heat. I'm going to see, maybe you guys can see this. If not, I will try to show it to you a little bit better, but you can see it's scorched is probably the best word to use for it. So if you're doing this, please be careful. You can also see some scorching on my um, paper that I put under this because they do want you to protect your surface with some cardstock. So these are super duper hot. Do not touch them. Let them cool completely. I'm going to let them sit and wait. Um, I will probably do a bunch of other stuff and then come back to these because I do not want to get my fingers burned. 
I wanted to show you guys why it's so important that you put a piece of cardstock down. You can see that the color from the ink bled onto our cardstock. Had we not put this down, it would have bled onto our pressing mats. We don't want that. So I let these cool for a really long time. They are absolutely cool to the touch. The middle's still a little bit warm, but it'll be fine. So the first thing we'll do is peel off our heat tape and then it will reveal our design. Now the heat tape does like to stick to the back of these. So you just need to kind of work at it. And it's not always the easiest, there we go. And this is not a colored one. This is one that I just did in a black marker. And look at how good that came out. That came out really nice. I think that came out really cool. So let's go ahead and find the one that we colored. This is the one we colored. You can see again it bled because of the paper. So we're going to go ahead and again peel off our heat tape and we can reveal what our colored one looks like. Wow, look at that. Wow, that's really colorful. So you can definitely tell where you don't color. So like if you don't color fully the design, it shows, but you can see like how I didn't fully color the blue. Let's see if I can show you that. Didn't fully color the blue, but I did fully color where the red and the orange and the yellow is. You can see how like deep and dark those colors are and you can even see where it blended. So the coloring came out really, really bright and vibrant. And the thing is these don't wipe off. So you can use these as coasters. They can get wet. You can wash them, things like that. And they don't wipe off, which is really, really nice. And these are pretty easy to do. They do smell a little bit when you make them um, from the heat, I think more than anything. But again, you'll want to keep an eye on these when you're making these. You can do these with an easy press or a heat press. And I think they're really fun. They're really, really cool. They came out really vibrant, which I really like. And they were pretty easy to do. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays with the occasional bonus live video. This is what's left over after you're done pressing. So you can see you still have some ink on there, but it's real light and faded. Don't forget to make sure that you do clean these off so that they don't have any kind of lint on them or anything like that. I hope you guys had such a fun time checking out how to make the coasters with infusible ink markers and drawing with your Cricut. Have a great day and happy crafting.